really the big story. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, the entire state yesterday was under red flag warnings at really, really high risk of fire danger. But thankfully, we did get some moisture in last night. So that's helped out a little bit across the west and the northern mountains. Still quite windy out there, but we did get a little bit of snow, a dusting of snow up near Angel Fire. And taking a look at the loop over the last three hours up there, you can see it's kind of been on and off up there, really starting to taper off right now. And as you take a look back, too, you can see the wind really blowing that snow around. So wind's still an issue, but again, thankfully, we've gotten some moisture in back across the west and northern part of the state. Still very dry out east, and that's where we're seeing the windiest conditions today. So fire, weather danger, still a big, big issue out east. Winds right now sustained at 26 miles per hour for the metro. We're seeing 35 mile per hour sustained winds up in the northeast. So just about everyone looking at 15 to 30 mile per hour sustained winds out the west and northwest right now. And we're seeing those higher gusts too, especially out in the east. 52 mile per hour gusts as of this hour in Clayton and nearly 50 mile per hour winds in Tucumcari. Yesterday, we saw winds in excess of 60 miles per hour, even near 70 down to Arruido. So 50 mile per hour wind gusts in Albuquerque. So we're not seeing that today, but still it is very windy out there. Thankfully, that is going to start to calm down as we head into tomorrow. But for today, we're continuing to see the dry weather out east. Things are starting to wind down to the north, but we still could see a few spot snow showers mixing in with some rain down in the lower elevations and perhaps even an isolated thunderstorm up in the northwest, otherwise dry with very high winds out in the east. And again, fire danger still an issue there. Red flag warnings remain in effect for the eastern part of the state through the rest of this afternoon and into the evening. All of the wind and even that little bit of snow associated with that disturbance that brought all of the rain and snow back out over California, that disturbance has weakened considerably. Uh, you can see it here over Colorado and still bring in some light snow up in the northern part of New Mexico or northern mountains there. That's going to continue to exit to the east and of course, cooler air has moved in behind it. You notice the difference in temperatures today, 20 to 25 degrees colder than where we were at this time yesterday. So cooler air will continue to filter in. It will be a very chilly night and a cold start tomorrow morning. Breezes, though, will start to come down tomorrow and we'll see more sunshine tomorrow. Of course, that will warm the temperatures up a bit. And tomorrow afternoon, we'll be looking at warmer temperatures than what we're seeing today. Here's a look at the numbers out there right now. Still in the upper 30s in Taos, 44 in Alamosa. Still in the 40s for the metro yesterday, this time in the 70s, and down the east in the 60s and 70s. But again, we'll see those warm up a few more degrees as we head through the rest of the day, and then tomorrow again looking a lot better as far as those temperatures are concerned. North and west, temperatures end the low 40s for highs today, low 50s for Farmington. Then tonight, a very chilly one down into the teens and low 20s. Tomorrow, more sunshine with highs back into the mid to upper 50s, so nearing the 60 degree mark again for Farmington. South and west, we'll see more sunshine gradually as we head through the rest of this day with temperatures in the 60s to low 70s. South and east, that cooler air is working its way into your area right now. So temperatures only in the low to mid 70s for most of you. We'll try to make it into the low 80s for Roswell, but again, that may be a little ambitious for today. We'll see more sunshine tomorrow with a high of 81 degrees and then back into the mid to upper 80s as we head toward Thursday. North and east, a few clouds around with windy conditions persisting. Temperature wise, we'll be in the 50s to low 60s. If we can get rid of those clouds enough, we'll try to warm it up a little bit more as we have the rest of the day. Northern mountains looking at temperatures in the low to mid 40s for Red River Angel Fire, mid 50s for Santa Fe, back into the 60s tomorrow, and we'll stay in the mid 60s for the rest of the work week. And your forecast for the East Mountains will continue to see a little more in the way of cloud cover today. Windy conditions with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, and for the Metro, uh, less wind uh, for today compared to yesterday. They'll slowly die down as we head into the evening hours with highs only in the mid to upper 50s, then down into the upper 20s tonight to low 30. So it will be a cold start tomorrow morning, but tomorrow is looking a lot better than today and yesterday. We're not going to have the wind. We're going to see more sunshine and it will be a little bit warmer too. 63. Can't mm -hmm. really complain about that. And it was nice to see the snow up in Angel Fire too. It was. Yeah. Right. Thanks a lot, Kristen.